the ebook and the regular book are linked now. So if you haven't had an opportunity to go check it out, you can do that. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that more later. I just want to give you a breakdown of what I'm going to be talking about today is I'm just going to have a brief welcome to everybody, the different groups that I'm in right now, as well as uh, give a little backstory about the, the book and how it all came about, came about. And then I'm going to do some acknowledgements. There's several people I wanted to thank publicly. And there's been a, a huge influence on making this project happen. So I let them know that they're appreciated. I have my microphone. I'm actually filming myself right now as I'm talking to you live. So I have my pop filter and my microphone. And then after that, we're going to uh, talk about a little bit about reviews and why they're so important. And then after that, I have some really cool little things, activities that I want to show, share with you that you can do with your kids if you do have kids or if you're a teacher and you can have some great things that you can do with your children. And about two hours after this uh, airing, I will have some links on my website for you to download if you are inclined to do so. Download the um, files. They're really cute. They're really funny. And it's really simple and inexpensive crafts that you can do with your kids. So without further ado, if anybody is coming in late, that's cool. This will be recorded, I believe, and, and saved for unless you take it down. Don't take it down um, if, if, if not. So let's get started. Um, I wanted to thank, first of all, my main group is my main page where I have about 400 friends. Um, most of them are from Ithaca, New York, where I am uh, originally from. And I have a lot of friends where I work, old classmates, um, people I played volleyball with. I was a competitive volleyball player many, many years ago. A whole slew of different friends, and they're hopefully joining me in my main group. Then I also have the uh, children's book, Authors and Illustrators Publishing, Marketing, and Selling group, which is the big main group, which is Jay Mletsky and Diane Elber's group, which is a fantastic group. If you don't belong, see if you can join that. That's where a lot of the people that helped me on this book came from, that group. And I'm also live in an ESL group, teacher's group, that I, um, I'm an ESL teacher. Seven days a week, I teach children in China. So you're probably wondering why I don't have a frame here. Well, they said buy one, get one half off. And I thought they meant like 50% off, but they, they only gave me half of the glasses. Yeah. Well, actually, I sat on this morning. So... <laughs> So I have to go kind of uh, kind of crazy Nick today. So um, so now that you got that all taken care of, I wanted to um, talk, tell you a little bit about, about the story and how it all came about. And the, the kind of crazy thing about this is my wife and I started, we weren't book publishers until about 2013, 14, roughly, maybe 2015. And prior to that, we were... Uh, Apple developers. So we created nine apps and most of the apps were book books. And um, one of the first books we did was um, there was an app called Hippo's Name or Where's Hippo's Name or Where's My Last Name? That was the, uh, the app. And then um, so it started as an app and there was a scene where it's about um, it's about a stuffed hippo that's looking for his last name. And so the whole app is, all the whole story is him going through this little storybook environment where he's looking for his last name only to find out that his last name is, has been with him the whole time. It's, really, it's a really cute book. It's, I don't really publicize it very much. I think probably because I wanted to do more with the illustrations, but it's a really cute book. I got a little snippet here I wanna show you and you, I think you'll get the idea once I show this to you why I chose what I did choose. There's the hippo. I have on the, I think this is like the original, the original iPad because it, it will, my apps will only work with iOS 9 because um, I'm, they're, unfortunately they're no longer on the app store. So this is the last version that would, they would play in. So if you look at this real quick, if I could do it. So you see a little bouncing ball and there's the hippo running after it and then you got all these crazy balls, which, which my wife actually coded 
those aren't even physical balls. Those are all mathematical equations bumping into each other. And we looked at them, these kids, when they were looking at the app, they were just like mesmerized by these balls. And I said, honey, most of the kids stop at this page and just watch the balls. And it's like there's one instigator in there and causing all havoc. And there's different weights and, and, and um, bounce, bouncing, um, I don't know the physics about it. But anyways, that's where it came about. So that was like the impetus for um, doing the um, – and it wasn't even the book. There was going to be an animation. I said, let's do, let's take that, those last two scenes, let's do an animation. Let's do a two to three minute animated short. That's what I, that's my original goal was to do. I had no intention of doing a book. There was no, nothing of doing a book. And the other half of this story is I was digging through some old toys and I found, who knows what this is? It's a Whammo Super Ball. And I was looking at it, and I noticed, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are some little chips in it. And I thought, what would happen if I bounced this on the, on the ground and it went you know, sideways instead? So between the Whammo Super Ball and the app, uh, Where's My Last Name, which eventually became a book, um, that's how this whole book started. And, um, so long story short, um, I had a, I had a Pixar license all set up. Um, I was, uh, I was having somebody do the pre work on in Maya and it just was like daunting to me. It was like overwhelming. And I just, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the story down to where I wanted, where I wanted it to be. I'm going to take these off. It's driving me crazy. And, um, I couldn't get the story where I wanted them to be. So, I, you know, this, this project, when I say four years, it's about four years where I just kind of left it, walked away from it. And then I think the, the um, I'm not saying impetus, but the reason why I got back into it to do the book, I thought the book would be the easiest and the fastest way to, to get there would be because um, I've done another book prior to this. So, but it, it has been a long process. And so, the other reason why I kind of stepped it up was Toy Story 4 was coming out, and I thought for sure they, they did the Etch-A-Sketch, why wouldn't they do the Super Bowl? And luckily they have not done the Super Bowl yet, but maybe they will soon if they see my book. So that's the kind of the backstory of the book. And so now you understand a little bit more about um, that. I do have a, two dogs, two black labs, who are, um, one is named Max, and one is named Bo. And Max is about almost 14 years old now. and um, a lot of my stuff, I actually tend to name my stuff after my my dogs. And then Nikki was was uh, wasn't meant to be Nikki. It was just a placeholder. The original title of this was had wasn't even this this title it was a different title with it had an, another Nick in it. And um, so it just kind of just came about where someone said, "Just leave it the way it is." I said, "Okay." <laughs> so it's funny how things turn out. I think that's that's kind of the the crazy thing about it. So. Uh, we're right on schedule. In fact, I'm way ahead of schedule. So I do want to take a little time to acknowledge some people that have helped me get to this point. And one of those key people, of course, is my wife, who's been there ever since 2009 when we first met and has never left my side. And she's just been an amazing person to be around. She's so creative and organized at the same time. I don't think you could do that. I have a left brain and a right brain person, but uh, she is that person. She does the coding in the, in the apps, and she also is a great, great um, motivator to get, get me uh, moving. So my wife, uh, of course, like I said, she's been there throughout all of our ups and downs with the publishing. Um, and if, I'm not sure if you know this, now, I do have like six other books that I've published. I have Sheldon's Adventure Corner. This is the second in the Sheldon series. He's a square shell turtle. Um, I have Hippo's last name, which is, where's Hippo's last name? It's a cool one because it's, it's about a stuffed hippo who's looking for his last name. I have this other one, who, which was more like an um, experiment. Uh, this one, the, uh, the Day I Took My Big Furry Flea for a Walk. It's another book. And I have another book, which I don't have any copies of right now, called Sheldon's Adventure. And then I have a nonfiction book as well. So um, I have those books. and. Um, but anyways, there's some other I wanted to talk about. And one of, 
one of the persons, two of the people that are, are the administrators for children's book, uh, authors and illustrators, publishing, marketing, and selling. One is Diane Elber. I, she actually lives like 20 minutes from my house, which is really cool. And she is the author of, um, I don't know, 20, 25, 30 books now. In two years, she's, a, she's just going, going crazy right now. And Jay Maletsky, who is uh, also gung-ho, signing book deals left and right. And um, so um, they have this group. And I met like, I don't know, 50, 60 people there that are all connected to each other, all peers, and help each other out and try to do that type of thing. So I just want to thank them publicly, as well as there's countless other people, um, Lisa Furland, Tamara Ritterhouse, Bobby Hinman, uh, Nancy Tenke, um, fellow ESL teachers, Kelly Pazaniakis, uh, Jim Mespo, Natalie Smith, my Q Kids family. I, I teach for Q Kids. That's the background here. Um, and there's some new people like Rick Ellis, who just kind of uh, made some comments on my on my site. He's been helping me. Eduano also lives in uh, Gilbert, right near my house. And some old classmates from school have been my beta readers. So Mary Proctor, Lisa Raponi, and some others. So I also have four art directors that kind of took a little stab at it as well. Uh, Steve Carver, Alan Rowe, Mike Ryder, Amy Christensen, Christensen. Um, and, that. and then I also have uh, Wallach and Harry Averiara, who also gave me some uh, mentoring on the uh, pages. I actually have a couple of the spreads were done by Wallach. Um, he, I'm hoping he's going to do my hardcover book. I stopped doing a hardcover book. That was the intention to do a hardcover book initially, but I didn't get the story down to where I wanted it, and timing is just not going to work for Christmas. I'm hoping he'll work with me early next year and finish the hardcover book and um, just make it even better than it is now. Um, so that's all my acknowledgments. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. I know there's tons of people that are out there. Oh, April Cox, I think I mentioned her before. She's got a great service, a great um, a site and workshop that she does. And there are tons of people on there. Uh, Jennifer Gunson, uh, Brandon, um, uh, Lydum, Kellum, Kellum, I think. She's also in there. Uh, tons of uh, experts videos that you have to check out if you haven't checked them out yet as well. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about reviews. And reviews are so crucial to um, us as authors. And I wanted to encourage people. Uh, I know that you, I had a free download. And that was great. I got 18 reviews. I know many of you didn't get a chance to review because of this crazy Amazon thing where you have to like spend $50 or $100 and, and, and then they'll let you review a book. So make sure that you do that. If you have downloaded it and you like my book, uh, make sure that you do go back and double check that you are, uh, your review is sticking. I want to get to 50 if possible because the more reviews that are on your book, the better I think people respect uh, where you're coming from and they think it's a, it's, a, it's a good book, which it is. You know? And so, um, what else? The uh, other thing is you should need to, you need to know is um, there's a thing called Kindle Unlimited, which you pay uh, like a monthly fee and you get access to any book you want. And um, I think there's a two month free download period where you can do that. So if you do do that, I encourage you to do that. You'll get it for free. Uh, you can review it that way as well. And also, um, like I said, the two, the ebook and the book are live. They're beautiful. Uh, go ahead and order those as well. Um, so I'm going to double check. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to uh, review and you want to leave a review, uh, now's the perfect time to do it. Um, like I said, I, I contact a lot of people that, and hopefully you get a chance to, to do that. Good or bad, you know, hopefully it's good. Um, and uh, before we leave tonight, I will pick five people that make a comment down below. Please comment if you can. If you make a comment below that you want a book, I only have five. So the first five people to do it will get a book uh, autographed by me. And then I'll DM you later and get your address and um, take care of that. So um, I want to talk a little bit about upcoming projects before we get to the reading. And I, I wasn't planning on doing a Christmas book this year, but uh, an idea popped in my head like two days ago about Max and Nikki. 
and I got this really cute idea for a book. So I'm going to see if I can squeeze it out in time. It's going to be really tight. Um, if I don't get it out in time, I will do a YouTube reading of it. Um, but that's the hope is to get that going as well as I have two other books that I'm kind of playing around with too as well. Um, and some of the cool things that I'm doing, which I really haven't told anybody about yet. I don't think my wife knows about this yet, but uh, I will be adding a uh, an audio version of Max and Nikki that will be available both on the ebook and on the uh, hard copy uh, paperback, and eventually the uh, hardcover. So that will be, I'll let you know when that is uh, live, that will be coming probably within about two weeks. And the other cool news that's kind of happening is um, because I do teach in China, um, I have a lot of people that are asking for my book. So I went ahead and arranged for a, uh, to get a Chinese translation of the book. So that should be out, I'm hoping, within two to three weeks as well. So that's kind of what's happening uh, at, at tensemedia.com. If you do have any other, um, if you want to check out my stuff, it's www.intensemedia.com. Like I said, after about two hours after this broadcast, um, which we're doing great, you're doing great on time. I'm going to do well below uh, an hour. Um, I came up with these kind of these cool, Kelly saw these and kind of recommended them to me, but I found some really cool things you can do with your kids. And I created this, it's a simple paper plate. I didn't get a chance to do the ears yet, but this is something that's really super simple. You got the googly eyes. I just drew the nose. I did a little, um, if the book on the book is actually, Max actually has like a little curvature on his face. So uh, I just didn't do the ears in this one, but it's, it's really simple. I mean, I, the googly eyes cost like 97 cents. You get like a whole package of googly eyes and the paper play is like pennies. So this is a cool little thing you can do. I colored it in crayon and um, so that's one thing. That's one thing I'll have, I'll have instructions on my website after we're done. I also did a, um, I did a cutout. This is the original paper play, by the way. I really used it really well. And I did a cutout of the Mickey. He's got his, I uh, hope I'm not spoiling it, but uh, if I am spoiling it, then don't look. This is uh, something fun you can just do if they want to do different faces. Mickey has about, about eight or 10 different faces in the book, which is really cool. He's very emotional. And so you can do something fun like that. That came right from, I just took a mug, put it in the back of uh, a paper plate and just drew a little circle around there. And that was that. Um, also, I have a puppet. <laughs> Created a puppet. It's called a paper bag puppet. You're going to see there's a plate. There's the plates of the um, paper plate. And then this came from a, just a regular piece of copy paper. And I got these big googly eyes. And then I, this also came from the paper plate. And this came from the paper plate. And then this came from a piece of copy paper. And this costs pennies, and they can just have fun. The kids can just do this and have puppets. So it's kind of cool. It's really simple to make. And uh, I'll be having this, the instructions with this on my website after I'm done. So um, what else do I want to say here? So I think that's pretty much it. I wanted to read the book live. I did a couple read-throughs earlier, and I kicked butt. So I'm hoping that you will enjoy it. If you are watching me live, please let me know. Please say hello. It helps me um, that people are watching it. Let me know who's here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get onto the live. So I'm going to do this in a half an hour, which is awesome. I did promise you some balloons. So here's some balloons. I said there would be balloons. <laughs> Woo I have balloons. I am a little nutty, but it comes with territory. So let's get started, and I'll read you the book, The Adventures of Max and Nikki. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the pages here. I think I'm going to read it from over here, it's gonna be a lot easier for me. 
Oh, Jeff Sullivan. Nice, Amy, Elma. Nice to see you. And Silla's here. Nice to see everybody. Nice to see Kelly's here. Nice to see you. Justin. Justin Capriccio. Nice, Jeff. Justin. Roy Everts here. Nice. Julie Turner joined. Hi, Julie. Marcella Matisic. Tony is proud. Oh, don't make me cry. JD Sitchler. Anyways, Betsy Thorpe. Betsy just turned 26 yesterday. Happy birthday, Betsy. We're rooting for you. Thank you so much for commenting. It means a lot to me. Let me know that people are here. Um, Cosette's here. Douglas Munch, I owe him a book. Douglas is my man, my main man. Prayers out to you. Um, which I, I've had this on my desk for like a year and a half, this giant TV. And I just hooked it up today. The Adventures of Max and Nikki. An epic story of friendship, written and illustrated by Nick Medelsky. And I've also included some big words in this book. Copyright Nicholas Medelsky, pushed by Intense Media, www.intensemedia.com. I have all of the big words that are in here. So this is what I love about this is that ages three to 11 can enjoy this book because the, of the words are talked about beforehand, and then you'll understand the, the, um, the words. There we go. Max the big dog was ready to pounce on a little red ball that loved to bounce. Bouncing up and down is what rubber balls do. Bouncing really high is all Nikki knew. Bounce, bounce, bounce. It's all through Max's stuff. Max chases Nikki and barks, ruff, ruff, ruff. The door flew open. Nikki bounced right outside. With Max running after him, slip, slip, slide. Poor Max wasn't fast. It was just too hard as Nikki bounced quickly out of his yard. Nikki bounced up and over a fast moving car. Bouncing away from Max, a little too far. At the park, Max looked far and wide in all the places Nikki used to hide. Max looked in every hole and behind every rock. He even looked inside an old dirty sock. Sadly, Max couldn't find his favorite toy. He stopped to ask every girl and boy. Have you seen my ball? I miss him so much. He's round and small and smooth to the touch. When all seemed hopeless, he looked at the sky and saw his friend Nicky about to cry. Nicky whimpered, I don't want you to see. A strange dog took a big bite out of me. I'm different now. It's harder to bounce up and down. You'll just push me away, Nicky said with a frown. Max begged his friend, Come down, let's play. I don't want to wait one more day. Jumping out of the tree was a courageous thing. Nikki was hopeful about what the future would bring. At first he was determined to use all of his might not to bounce to the left or to the right. 
Nikki realized that Max didn't care that he wobbled. A true friend that liked Nikki, even when he bobbled. Nikki then bounced under a bench and over a deep trench. He bounced next to a rock and rolled over to a smelly old sock. Yuck. Nikki was happy and yelled like never before. This is so much fun. I like it a whole lot more. Max too was very happy. He howled out with glee. Together they yelled out, yip, yip, yippee. Whether you bounce on the ground or wobble on the floor, we'll always be best friends forevermore. At the end of the day, Max fell asleep on his bed while Nikki lay next to Max's soft, furry head. The end. And so I have a little mention in the book about the arts and crafts projects. I think they're really cool. They're really awesome to check them out. Special thanks to Kelly Pazniakas, I hope I said that right, for suggesting that for me. This one, I think, is a, this one is great because if you look at the ears, the ears are part of the plate. Hey, I just made that rhyme. Is that, what's it? Iambic pentameter by any chance? And this came from a piece of copy paper. This came from the plate. It's got a nice stiff piece to it. Um, these, like I said, are like 97 cents at Walmart. You get a whole bag of the big ones. They're like in the party section. And the paper plate, I didn't really do a fantastic job with it, but it, it's super, super simple. And I used the Elmer's glue to glue the eyes, and the kids can have fun with the googly eyes, of course. And then this one is a simple, just get a mug or a glass, um, plastic cup, whatever you want. And if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can do a nice little outline of a circle right there on the plate. So I just wanted to thank everybody once again for uh, coming to this live event. I know it's kind of a strange to see me. You don't really see me too often. Um, if you want more information about my books, it's www.intensemedia.com. Sorry about the glasses. Uh, shout out to Q Kids. Thank you for uh, allowing me to, to share this with my fellow Chinese teachers. Uh, like I said, about two hours after this, I'll post all the directions on how to get those activities for your kids if you want, if you're so inclined to do that. So, um, again, I'm a very religious person. Shout out to uh, Doug Munch. My prayers are with you, brother. Um, I ask that you pray for him as well. And, um, if you are commenting, I hope you are, um, I will be doing a uh, five books I'll be sending out for free, autographed, and they will be probably going out tomorrow. So um, appreciate it. Remember, don't forget those reviews. Reviews are so important. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Look at my glasses. I look like Steve Steve Mill or not Steve Miller. What's his name? Steve um, Steve Martin. <laughs> uh, Lisa Pony. Is Nikki named after you? Um, not really. Nikki is not named after me. I, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I saw this Whammo Super Bowl. This is an original, by the way. This is the original Whammo Super Bowl. And when I found it in my book of, um, my box of toys, he's chipped a little bit here, or nicked, if you might say. And I, I just put Nikki as a placeholder. I had no intention of naming it after myself. And no, it is not named after me, Dougie. But um, I'll talk a little bit more about that if you want to rewatch the, the video. I'll talk a little bit more about how the book came about. I got to sign off. It's 4.35, time for dinner. Goodbye from sunny Arizona. Peace out.